So with the disappointing news that Red Dead Redemption 1 is still not going to be available on PC, I decided to make this video to show you how to play slash emulate Red Dead Redemption 1 on your PC. Now, what we're going to be doing is downloading this 360 emulator called Exenia, specifically the Canary version, aka the experimental version. And the reason why we're downloading this version is it has a performance boost that can run your games to 60 FPS and higher. So we're going to download that. All items will be in the description below so you can follow on to the tutorial, except for the game's ROM file itself. You're going to have to find that for yourself because um, last time I tried that, try linking it, uh, YouTube, you know, smacked me with a, a warning strike on my channel. So yeah, we, we, we won't be doing that. But uh, everything else, I got you covered. And if you need something to uh, download the files with, uh, 7-Zip is right here. You can download it. This is what I use, or you can use um, WinRAR if you have that installed as well. All right. So first thing I want to do is head over to this GitHub link, which will be uh, in the description below. Scroll over here where it says Xenia Canary Zip. Click that. We'll start downloading. Take this and make your own folder called Xenia, and then you want to drag it to that folder. All right, so now that we have that, open up the folder, right click, 7 zip, extract here. All right, so we can delete that. We don't need that anymore. And you want to go ahead and start up the emulation real, real quick, and then close out of it and what you're going to see is going to create a configuration through notepad let's open that up for a minute and this is where you're going to have all your settings for the emulation uh don't get discouraged i know it seems like a lot but it's actually really really simple um you have full dis uh you know this is your display options uh you can see full screen is at false because um we're going to save that for the games itself okay and you can see the internal display resolution is at eight. And if you scroll over here, eight means 720p, which is the default. Uh, if you have a really powerful PC, you can definitely bump that resolution, but I would recommend just leaving it at eight on the, on the default setting so that can, it, it can run properly. And um, scroll over here, scroll all the way down to where it says draw resolution scale. So by default, it's going to be 1080p. So the base resolution is 720, but it's going to bump up to 1080p. But if you want to bump it to 1440p, for example, you would um, just basically bump it up to two and, you know, vice versa if you want to do 4K or whatever. But the point is you would need a really high, powerful PC to even do such resolution. So we're pretty much done here. So you can just close out of this or if you change something and you want to stay, click file and hit save and then close out of it. <clears throat> now for the game file itself. Um, but before we do that, head over to this um, link, which I'll have in the description, which is the game patches themselves. So what we're going to do is head over to this. And since our game is Red Dead Redemption, you want to just click Red Dead Redemption and they're going to have different versions depending on your ROM file. My specific ROM file is Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition Disc 1. So I, be, I will be using that one. Yours might be different. I have no idea. And you just want to download this and it's going to be another notepad. And the first thing that you see is unlock unlock fps right so this is at false currently so if you want to change something you want to highlight this right here so if it's on false or true right you want to highlight it and click true if you want it on so that's done and you can scroll all the way down they have a bunch of different features so you can uh disable uh motion blur and depth of field uh six, 16 times anti scroptic filtering i can never say that word right <laughs> and uh what these do uh 60 you know this basically just makes the game uh um a smaller resolution and then it 
upscales it to whatever resolution uh i'm gonna just keep it at default so i'm not gonna touch these and you know you can disable sun flares and they have a no trees mode which does exactly what it says no trees but it also can double your performance depending but you know it's just not for me personally it's not worth having no trees in the game you know it just ruins the experiment uh you know the whole entire experience but yeah you can just scroll down and see which you know patches you want and this right here which we're gonna change which is the skip intro okay so obviously when you start up a game a rockstar game specifically it has oh rockstar games this and that and stuff so we're gonna change that and we're gonna put true so that that way it just skips straight to the title screen so that's what we're gonna do and you know they have a bunch of different features like uh different cheats like infinite horse stamina uh bottomless clip and infinite ammo but we're not gonna touch none of those so we're just gonna head over here and save what we already changed so we're gonna save that and click out of that and i forgot to mention to Put the game file that you just edited into its own folder inside the Xenia folder called patches in all lowercase. So I'm do that patches and you want to put the game file in here. So there you go. And it should work properly. So all the game changes that you made, like skip the intro and unlock FPS, that should work as soon as you start it again. So open, start the game, and there you go. It says patches applied. Let's hit full screen. So boom, there you go. Completely skip the intro. And we're running at 60 FPS. Let me skip this real quick. So yeah, skip the intro. We're running at 60 FPS. However, there's a slight problem and I'm gonna tell you how, how to fix it. So let's back, let's back out of this. What you want to do is head over to the canary config one more time. Scroll all the way down to where it says VSync and you want to turn VSync off. All right, scroll to where it says VSync. You can see it's on true. What we want to do is change that to false. All right, change that to false because we don't need VSync. And you would think that VSync would, um, you know, keep the game from screen turn and stuff. And, but no, it actually just tanks the performance, right? Now, this next step um, is optional, but it's only for NVIDIA users. So if you have a GeForce graphics card, so you want to head over to NVIDIA control panel. Wait until that loads. Go to program settings. You want to find where it's like where the uh, Xenia file is. And if you can't find it, click add and then scroll. And then go to your Xenia folder that we just found. So you want to do that. Click it. And scroll all the way down to where it says VSync. So and you want to click vsync on if it's not already on and that's a easy step for nvidia users so now when we go back to canary and launch the game the performance is going to be way better than it was before let's hit full screen Now you can see the 60 frames per second. 
it's running buttery smooth too and that's how you play red dead redemption on your pc it looks great and <laughs> plays great as well <laughs> but yeah uh that's how you play red dead redemption on your pc and if you want to know how to play ps2 games on your pc click the following video below or on the screen